Okay, so I'm just going to show a couple of updates. So first of all, I want to show the presentation. So there's been some big changes to it, of course. So some big changes, which I'll show you. So we now have a designated logo for the project. Um, we'll be going under Photo Create with the name of the game, Fame of the Collector. So we have all of the creators, myself, Elijah Mansour, Rory McGrath, Non Nania, Joanna Colley, and Christian Douglas. So this is just like a little bit about the team. So I do the management, game design, material, marketing level, um, and so forth, as you can see. So we've got some photos done. Um, we are still just awaiting a photo for Christian to finalize this part. So we got some quick short descriptions just so you know a little bit more about the team. But I'm a 3D designer. We have Rory as a film student, Elijah as a film student, Non as a new game design student, Christian as a game student, and Joanna as a 3D student. So we're going to be setting the promotional campaigns we've been having weekly meetings to consistently get more and more progression so we got our strategies and our market-based opportunities as well as our development which is coming together but we also have the plan for product launch so green means it is set in stone purple means it's getting done and red means it needs to be worked on we have our synopsis and summary as well as Mantle of Honor, um, who you are. We've got all the descriptions for the different creatures, um, artifacts with little examples just to give a brief on it, um, collectibles, gameplay mechanics, player animations, enemy animations, UI, which is going to be getting adjusted, test level being worked on, as well as some um, more level design, going to be adding a forest zone, got some world design, SFX and music, and just a final page. So with the project, we have created the main menu world. So if I go into the level blueprint, on the gameplay, it creates the main menu widget. Adds, so that's all still the same, but I'm setting it to try and disable the input for a previous one. So currently this is just an actionless input. So we won't worry about that. <coughs> so for this, currently going to be getting peak and strafing corrected, but inside of our gray box testing, we do have it a bit more so it's still the same, nice and set out, looking very pretty. Can move through fast just to show quickly. But one thing that got fixed, so in the, if I go into the main menu with continue and new game, it was opening the wrong thing. So now when you resume, it opens gray box testing, same as with new game for the time being until we have the visible first level so I also had to correct this inside of the pause menu widget so when you click to resume and restart it would just play up but now it is all fixed up so main menu takes your main menu and resume will just resume and restart opens main menu world so, might even adjust this to the gray box dash testing. There we go. So, now, as you can see, <coughs> this one's just a quick small update. So, we've got our double jump, we've got all this lining for testing. And now when we resume, it goes back to normal, you restart, you're back.
but that is about it with this for the moment.